Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and say that at the end of this video, CJ and I actually did end up going on a tour of the facility for Feeding America in Milton, and it was amazing, but the audio did not turn out good, so it is not in this video. So if you're interested in seeing what Feeding America is all about, I'm going to leave a link in the description if you guys want to check that out and see what they're doing, and they're doing some pretty amazing stuff. There was so much food in that warehouse, and the projects that they're doing with that, it's, it's so heartwarming, and if you want to contribute at all go ahead and visit those links and if you're not already subscribed what the heck please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it really means a lot to me and you can go ahead and follow me on instagram if you haven't already and i really appreciate the support and i hope you enjoyed the video hey everyone welcome back to my channel and today i am with my friend cj hola he's going to go ahead and explain to you what the deal is for today what the plan is so i'm actually still working right now making a little bit less than what I was making, but I'm still able to survive where there, I know there's thousands, millions of people who are struggling trying to figure out where their next meal is. Well, I've decided to donate all of my stimulus check to Feeding America and the organization here on the Gulf Coast is Feeding the Gulf Coast. It runs from Mobile to Panama City and helps families out and different things like that. So I'm teaming up with them to donate my entire stimulus check, but today we're actually gonna be shopping. I'm not just gonna donate the money, I'm actually gonna buy the goods that they need and then take it to their facilities and stuff. We have a big truck he got from his we work. We do. Shout out to Ring Gear here, yes. my job. So for if you're ever down here and you need any beach equipment or bonfires or anything, look us up. We'd be glad to take care of you. Yeah, so we, thankfully his boss let us use one of the trucks so we can have all the food at one place and not have to make multiple drop-offs. So uh, we're actually just gonna hit, pretty, since there's a bunch of limits on uh, how many things you can buy, we don't really know if that's going to affect the stuff that we're purchasing right now, but we'll find out and kind of go with the flow, but uh, make as many stops as we need to. But, yeah. We're just gonna so. go in here, get what we can, and then like she was saying, we're gonna try to do multiple stops. There's actually a Walmart right beside this Sam's yeah. too. And then I thought about Publix and Winn-Dixie mm -hmm. as well. Just a little uh, disclaimer, um, I did not get a stimulus check, so this is all my friend here. Uh, I'm doing, I'm, I'm kind of help helping him get the word out. Yeah. Um, just donate what you can and and so. this isn't this isn't to show off what I'm doing or anything because no. without the stimulus check I honestly wouldn't be doing this right. at all uh, just because yeah I do make enough but it's enough for me and my family right but with this little bit of extra money seeing that I'm still working it's only right to give back to other people that are struggling like right now I'm living with my family I'm not working both of my jobs I am no longer working so and since I'm in college I did not get a stimulus check so I just want to make that clear that uh this is not me, this is him, and this is not a brag. This is not a ha ha, look at what we're doing. We're, or he's such a, you know, we're all so good, like yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like, not the case. We're just trying to put this video out there. If you do have, even if you don't have money like me, you have the time to just kind of visit these places, see what you can provide, or like right. help Absolutely. someone who can provide, like help them out with it, you know, like this is a two, kind of a two man job. Like, this yeah, is a big this thing, so. Yeah, so don't take this as a uh, hey look at us video showing off kind of thing. Just take take it with a grain of salt, you know, just take it for what it is and not something, there's no hidden meaning behind it. It's just uh, if, it, if it touches you in a way and you may not completely need your stimulus check and you don't have to do the whole thing, you know, the whole 1200 or however right. much you got, but if you have something that you can give, that's something. With my talks with Feeding America, actually every dollar that you donate to them, because you can donate online as well, provides 10 meals, $1,200 of food that I'm gonna, which buying the food may provide a little bit more than just the money per se. For instance, if you donated the $1,200, that'd be 6,000 meals awesome. that it would provide. I believe if my math is correct. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me on that. But <laughs> it's not math majors <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our long day of grocery shopping, but all right, let's, let's, let's do it. go ahead and get it done. <laughs> CJ. We got one filled up. We filled up a whole cart already. We probably, we probably haven't even been here 20 minutes. Barely. So.
47 to 20. We actually had a lot more than that, but we did run into limits. Yeah. Um, it'd be nice if they just had signs. Because I, no I feel bad. Now they got to go put all that stuff up, and if there were the signs, you know, obviously I would have just grabbed what I could oh. grab. And there oh. we go. <laughs> we're still here, though. We're still good. We're still going to shoot over here at Walmart next. I guess we'll watch out for that. Right, just go over here and get some Dodge chicken. If you know, if you've seen my Popeyes Chick fil A, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Chick fil A, but I will absolutely eat it. I'm starving right now. You don't like Chick fil A? I'll be alright. You sent me to the hospital, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we just got done with Sam's Club. We did have two full carts. We ended up only having about a cart and a half. Um, a lot of the stuff had limits, which we expected. Yes. We're just thinking of a new plan since we did get half of a cart of food taken. Yeah, for real. We totally get it. There weren't any signs up, which I was really confused about. Maybe when we walk in, we could just ask if there's yeah, like I, a limit on things. Yeah. All right, now we're on to Walmart and then lunch. Let's go. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Parts again, and yes, we are wearing masks and being careful. We have lots of pasta, we have some peanut butter, some tomato sauce, jelly down there, some canned stuff. We have some chicken noodle soups, tuna, doing well. Let's see that receipt. Check that out. It blows in the wind like that's the quick. How much did we spend here? Uh, I feel like I'm like checking a list, checking it twice, about to find out who's naughty and nice. This is uh, 378.22. So this is our car from Walmart. Okay, we have stuff under there. This is what we got at Sam's. Yes, I mean, this stuff is in bulk, yeah, but this I don't is definitely know. the better deal. We definitely got way more. Pack her up. The unhappy process of yeah. unloading all of this stuff. This is looking way more full. It's filled up. Wow. We're getting there. I think we're gonna go to Publix now, and then uh, right across the street from it is uh, Win Dixie. So probably do Publix, finish up at Win Dixie, and then hopefully we'll be right there at our goal or near it at least, so close enough where we can call it a day and then go drop it all off. Yep, we got quite a bit of stuff back there, yes, so we do. I really don't think it'll be. Um, that hard to, no. to reach our goal. Honestly, I'll be, sh I'll be surprised if we have to go to Windex Dixie. We're gonna go finish this up and then drive to Milton, right? Drive Milton. to Milton. Yep. Yep. So, all right, here we go. Bye. <laughs>
What is this? I need to know, Publix. Who would actually eat this? Let me know if you would eat this. <laughs> Go ahead. 241.45 at Publix. Awesome. Pretty good. So we're Pretty long there. receipt. We're getting there. Yep. Yeah, like stove, stove top tops. Um, yeah. We got rice. Peanut butter, yeah. jelly. Applesauce, which is something we forgot about the yeah. first time. So maybe if we go to Winn Dixie, they pick up some more of that. Yeah, Dixie. applesauce was a good find. A cart full of cans. A cart full of cans. Never had too many of those. Yep. How many cans are we see these are mostly like we got tomato sauce, we got corn, we got things like that. These are also the same, but we got a little bit more of mixed vegetables. We got some yep. sweet peas this yep. time. We didn't have any of those. Some cocktail fruit. We actually got more of those beefaronis and Whole things potatoes. like that. Yeah, some potatoes, stuff like that. So Sauce carries a little bit of yep. everything. So All I'm right. happy with what we got so far. Just about done. Who knows? We'll see where we're at after this. Might be it. If not, when Dixie's definitely gonna be it. We're gonna talk about what the next plan is and if this is it i mean we you, we did great yeah if this is it that's great if we can get more that's great too either way i think they'll be very thankful for yeah. the amount that's 139. wow so you central. picked me up yeah central time standard daylight time. yeah he picked me up at 7 30. <laughs> we've been at it wow we actually got down here around nine o'clock so yeah. that's pretty crazy we've been shopping all day long but all right we're gonna Put up Pack time. this stuff in. Also, just for frame of reference, I'm 5'8". This is how big the truck is. Yeah. <sighs> Pretty dang good. Woo! <laughs> so we're here, finally made it to the Gulf Coast. Uh, gonna drop all this stuff off. I'm waiting for Kyle to come out here. He's a gentleman that's been helping me with all this, getting it all set up. Come with a forklift right now. So we're here. So we're about to load all this up, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright everyone, so we just finished up uh, doing a tour with Kyle. He uh, gave us a lot of information about what they do here and everything that goes into helping feeding not only the Gulf Coast but feeding America as well. I don't even know what to say. This has just been a journey that uh, it's just inspiring. Coming here, seeing what these people are doing, how they're helping in the community, and uh, the help that I've been able to provide. And I couldn't have done it without Alyssa here. Without a doubt, she's helped me. She helped now for real. I couldn't have done it without you. All I will say is this: most of you who may end up watching this video are probably a lot fortunate than some people right now. Do what you can. It doesn't mean you have to. You could be spin. in my situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't have any money to provide because I am also unemployed right now. But I have my time. Or I helped out someone who he's fortunate. He did have some money to and some groceries to provide. So whether that's your time, your service, or your money, it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be. You can go through your pantry and see what you haven't touched in six months. That's not perishable. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not just right now that they do this. They do this all year yeah, round. Yeah, they do it. It's, for everything. He was saying right before all this hit, they were still catching up on Hurricane Michael victims mm -hmm. from two years ago. Right, so, so it's what you provide, whatever it is, even if it's just something like this, like raising awareness for something like this, right. you're spreading awareness about a company that's, if you share this video or you share it to someone who's interested in this kind of stuff, yeah. they may have something to provide. Or that person's aunt, that person's sister might have something to provide. So make sure you get this out. Like we said at the beginning of the video, this isn't a, no. oh, look at us, look, you know, pat on the back, because that's definitely not what this is. This is, hey, give what you can, excuse me, give what you can, your time, just even your, you know, awareness. Give your awareness to it, and that's, that's all we're asking, and 
and thankfully CJ was able to make a yeah. insane donation today, which is awesome. But it doesn't have to be that. No, you, know? you don't no. need a whole truck. To I do. Yeah, groceries. no, no, you don't. And like she was saying, just things that you've opened your pantry door for years, and that same can has been sitting there. Yeah. That obviously you're not using, but in a time like this, somebody else could. That could be a meal for a day or two for somebody. So it's not about how much you donate. It's just about yeah. if you can help, help. That's what how I started. This has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with race, religion, any of that. This has everything to do with being a human being and taking care of us. Helping each other. This is a time that our world hasn't seen in over a hundred years. We need to step up and help each other out through times like this. And that's one thing that Kyle really specified on that they have programs that they contribute yeah. their food to. These children who just so they could have food on the weekends during school. I mean, and especially right now, those kids have nothing. So it's like, it's important. It's important to just, like I said, spread the awareness or donate if you can. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a truck full yeah. of food. It could be a bag full of groceries. He, he was saying that last year they did, I think it was 12 million pounds of food is what they ended up donating. And they expect to crush those numbers out of the water. So let's help them with that. Let's help them not be short. Let's help them not wonder what they're gonna do when people come and ask them for food that they don't have because places like this are the last resource for a lot of people who aren't working and stuff right now. So with that, before we head off, I want CJ to kind of yeah, so, self-promote. Yeah, <laughs> so as y'all are watching this right now, obviously you have visited Alicia's channel, which if you haven't, subscribe, please. Wee. Please do. We're trying to make this, trying to help her grow in this channel and everything. Granted, this is not what this video is about Absolutely once not. again. But shameless plug time for myself. <laughs> uh, I also have a podcast. It's called The Bearded Historian. Uh, you can find it on Spotify or on Apple iTunes. I got about five or six episodes up right now. I try to do one at least maybe one every two weeks, but these past couple of weeks has actually, I've been able to knock out a lot more. I've been able to do about one every week. So you should check that out. I'm on Facebook at The Bearded Historian, and then I'm also on Twitter at Bearded His Pod. Please go and check that out. I try to provide new content every week. I don't just give you an overview of historical topics. I go in depth about it. Instead of just talking about a war, I'll talk about the strategy for why this war happened or the strategy of why this battle happened or just different things like that. So please, I would love it if you went and checked that out. Also, one final shout out. I want to give this van that you've seen us rolling around in the entire time is from my company Rink Gear here. Uh, we are a beach concierge company that, that works out of Santa Rosa Beach. We have a location in Destin, Santa Rosa Beach. We have one in Watercolor, we have one in Seagrove, we have one in Rosemary, and we also have one at The Point, which is the end condo on 30A closer towards Rosemary. So we do bike equipment, we do beach bonfires, obviously not right now, <laughs> uh, baby equipment, we do wheelchairs, just a, basically any of your vacation accommodations that you need when you come down here, we're good for bikes too. Bikes is our main one. The location I work out of is one of our biggest bike locations that we have. So anytime that you're in the area or if you're ever down in that area and you need anything, you could either get in contact with me because I am an assistant manager down there. So I would be willing to try to help you if I can, but if not, also go to one of our locations. We have reasonable prices compared to a lot of places down there. Uh, we do half day rates for bikes, which is actually ends up being like a full day because of how we actually do it. But it's $20 for the bike. So, uh, and our prices go up from there. You can visit us online at ringgearhere.com. I just want to thank them. I want to thank my boss, Joe, for allowing me to use this vehicle today. It's, yes, uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. Y'all saw and, how many groceries we had? Yeah, thing yeah. Been a little far. Yeah, so <laughs> there, there's no way, even if I'd have brought my truck, there's no way we could have no. we could have fit everything. I'm gonna leave everything down in the description. If you wanna visit that website, I'll have it linked down. I'll have CJ's information, stuff like that. Get in the, get in the frame. <laughs> there we go, finally. Sorry. If you're in town, if you're in the Florida Panhandle and for vacation, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely check that out. Make your experience a lot better, um, a lot easier, too, because you don't have to bring all yeah, this. Yeah, so. for real, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Adios. Bye. Boop, boop.